Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? Welcome to my channel. You have joined me on my digital journey. I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. Today is episode 218, day 218. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and your friends. Mwah. Hello to my family and friends. Love you, thank you for your encouragement and your words of support. So let's dive right in. I'm very excited about the topic today. What I'm gonna be talking to you today about is motives. If you didn't have the um, opportunity to check out my video uh, episode yesterday, please go ahead. It was short, it was sweet, it was talking about consequences. It was basically letting you know that every action there's a consequence. It could be good or bad, but there's consequences, okay? Now today, I'll be talking about motives. The reason why people do certain things is because they have a motive behind of it, and then it caused a whole ripple-down effect, okay? So, in order for you to maintain access to the kingdom, God knows your heart. He knows what it is your motive is, okay? So there's nothing that you can hide from God. Let's go that route. And the scripture that definitely came to my mind or that was brought to me and is one of my favorite scriptures um, in reference to motives is, of course, Psalms 1. Um, and this is verses 1 to 3, and it's the New Living Translation. And it says... All the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do. So that is key, your motives. But like I was saying in my episode yesterday, if you follow the lead of the Holy Spirit, then you won't have to worry about your actions and the consequences because they're going to be good. Because the Holy Spirit is not going to lead you in anything that will not allow you to prosper. Okay? So, what God needs you to know is that you need to focus on the things that are good. Your motives should not have anything that is on the lining or anything that is not of God, okay? You're going to be tested, but your motives often always have to be pure, true, and of course, you have to be knowing the difference between right and wrong, okay? I was doing a Bible study, and that's where the Holy Spirit literally gave me the word motives because it was in reference to having keys to the kingdom. And motives is one of the things, the very first key to being able to open heaven is all about your motives. So I need you to know that the word of God proves true. Yes, it does. And God is a shield to all of those who come to him for protection. So my question to you each, each and every day is, are you hungry? because I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread. Mm -hmm.